In this bite-sized video, I'm going to show you how to export images from the Imago portal to a local drive. So the first thing you need to do is sign into desktop app Imago Connect plus tools. If you don't already have Imago Connect, you can download this for free from my.sequent.com by signing in with your Sequent ID, navigating to the Products tab or module, uh, and scrolling down until you see Imago Connect Plus Tools. Then we sign into Imago Connect with our Imago username and password, and then select the task we want to complete from the left-hand panel. So because we want to export images from the portal, we're going to click on the Export Images button and then configure our export settings. So from the drop-down lists, we're going to choose our workspace or project uh, and our data set or data sets, collections, imagery types and image types. You can see I've used the wildcard here or the asterisk, which will just grab everything. Uh, set your export location and then there are a couple of metadata tick boxes you can choose from. You also have the ability to set up your directory format. So this will specify how your images get saved into folders and subfolders. So that's a handy wee thing there. There's also the ability to use the custom name file format. So choosing the file name for each of the images that you download. You can see I've gone with the collection ID, location and image type. Uh, it's possible to save these defaults or if you've already saved them, load any previously saved defaults. Uh, we'll just double check our export settings once again, again and hit download. And depending on how many images you've got, it'll take a long time or a short time. I've just sped this bit up here. So then opening up the location where I saved the images to, you can see I've got my Cinnamon workspace or project, my drilling data set inside that folder, my collections, my drill hole IDs, and if I jump in there I can see my imagery types. So for core trays I've got dry, dry uncropped, wet and wet uncropped image types. And then my uh, file name, um, as specified in Imago Connect previously. And same for my linearized core imagery type as well. I've just got dry and wet image types for those. So opening these up, uh, you can see you then have a JPEG in this case uh, of your core photo. I've opened my linearized core here. Um, and that's about it. 